wondering why you're getting unsolicited WhatsApp DMs from your government and at like 10 in the night, same. In the last few days, millions of WhatsApp users have received a message from a government-run account named Viksit Bharat Sampar. The message, purportedly seeking feedback on governance, stirred controversy among its recipients and raised privacy concerns. With non-Indians and NRIs also receiving the message, details of the contact database used remains murky, raising doubts about privacy, consent and statutory obligations. But wait, isn't our Digital Personal Data Protection Act supposed to protect us from such late night unsolicited DMs from our government and like collection, use and processing of our personal data, like phone numbers? 1. The DPDB is still not operational. 2. Even when it will be, will it protect you? No! No. Because certain provisions of the Act exempts government's processing of personal data and even when enact enacted, it will not completely address privacy intrusions. TLDR, the DPDBA fails to safeguard your right to privacy. The timing of the message just before the Model Code of Conduct took effect and around the declaration of election dates suggests potential electoral implications. The Code prohibits party in power from using mass media for publicity regarding their achievements. When it comes to elections, such actions are nothing new. Political parties have a history of exploiting democratic data for targeted campaigning, which has long raised ethical concerns. Okay, but why does our government think it is okay to slide into our DMs? Question mark. We've taken immediate steps by filing a detailed right to information application where we ask, where has this data been accessed from, how recipients were selected, how much was spent on this outreach, and whether the ECI was informed. We will soon be out with a more detailed post on this. We at IFF have been consistently fighting for our right to privacy since day zero, and we will continue to explore all avenues, including potential legal challenges to the inadequate Digital Personal Data Protection Act of 2023. How can you help? 1. Stay informed. Read up on our extensive work regarding the DPDPA. Head to our link in bio for more. 2. Donate. The support of Indian citizens like you is crucial in sustaining our efforts to safeguard digital rights and privacy. It costs less than a cup of coffee a month to stand up for your privacy. Become an IFF member and help us keep watching The Watchmen.